Given the complex number z equal to minus 1 plus the square root of 3i, we are asked to calculate the trigonometric form of this complex number, that is the polar form. For that, what we have to do first is calculating the modulus and the argument of this complex number. The modulus of a complex number is first let's have a look at the complex number as it represents a point and that point is minus 1 and the square root of 3 so the modulus of this complex number is the same as the modulus of this point and let's call it point P so the modulus would be the square root of the x coordinate minus 1 square plus the second coordinate squared that is the square root of 3 square so operating this we would have the square root of minus 1 square is plus 1 plus the square the square of a square root is nothing so that is just a 3 left and 1 plus 3 is 4 the square root of 4 is 2 this is the modulus of the complex number and now let's go with the argument the tangent of the angle is equal to the imaginary part that's the square root of 3 divided by the real part that is minus 1 and now let's try let's try to remember some trigonometry so for calculating this we would have minus the square root of 3 <coughs> and now we're done with this so let's represent the point on the plane so we would have this point would be over here minus 1 and the square root of 3 and as we can see the angle of this point I mean of the vector of this point is theta now what we have to do is ignorating the sign of the vector so the sign goes away and it would be the tangent of alpha equal to plus the square root of 3 and let's, re let's remember some trigonometry as I said so what is the angle alpha of which its tangent is the square root of 3 if you have a look at the trigonometry videos you will find out that it, it that angle is 60 degrees so the angle theta that is on the second quarter as we move it from the second quarter to the first quarter is 60 degrees and which is the formula to move an angle from the second quarter to the first quarter that is very easy it's just doing 180 degrees minus the angle theta equal to 60 degrees that is the angle alpha so let's move everything up so detector is alone and that would be 180 degrees minus 60 degrees is equal to 120 degrees so the angle detector is 120 degrees but the best way of expressing an angle is not in degrees as you should know it is making it expressing it in radians so that is very easy let's make let's think if 180 degrees is pi 120 degrees is x so x would be 8 18x would be equal to 12 pi uh, where 
we can get the x and that is 12 pi divided by 18 that is equal to 2 pi divided by 3 so 120 is 2 pi divided by 3 radians now let's express the complex number on its trigonometric way that would be 2 times that is the modulus the times the cosinus of the angle 2 times pi divided by 3 plus i times the sinus of the angle theta that is 2 pi divided by 3 let's write the polar form that is the modulus sub the argument so it would be 2 sub 2 pi divided by 3 and with this we are done